file for bankruptcy. I'm the one who didn't pay my taxes. I'm the one, me, me. I'm the one who masturbated in front of children. I'm the one who got fourth place at Evo. I'm the one with a 10-year legacy. I'm the one, me, me. Jill Murray spends his whole fucking day talking about Phil. Yo, what up, your boy? Man, I could probably only squeak out two two videos this round, guys. It just dawned on my fucking ass. I gotta take my son to school in the morning. Oh my god, I can't believe it. It makes me feel like, bro, that, that boggles my head. Like, I actually gotta go to bed early to make sure he goes to school. <laughs> That's such a trip. It's a long way from, like, making sure you go to bed early to go to school, you know? Anyway, sorry, I went on a little trip. <laughs> uh, in today's video, dude, you know, today's Labor Day. You know, celebrating the American workforce. Us, baby. But Phil's gonna sit here on his comfortable little throne and try to give us his definition of Labor Day. Which, if you think about it, is fucking hilarious, dude. It's, it's dark side Phil. Like... To, to record, he only had w one actual job where he had to punch in his time card and shit like the rest of us. <laughs> like, you know, like, who the fuck really wants to hear a streamer talk about Labor Day, bro? Because, like, yeah, you know, streaming is, like, a form of work, but it is not hard, like, labor, bro. I'm sorry. I, I can't call it labor. I just can't, bro, you know? So, we're gonna see Phil just put his foot in his goddamn mouth. And he just looks ridiculous as hell talking about Labor Day, bro. Oh, shit! Especially if after the way he talked about YouTube support employees. Which, if you think about it, do more labor than his punk ass. Shit, play the clip real quick. Alright. YouTube support is not YouTube support. YouTube support is a, essentially the same as a call center for any tech company around the world. It's a bunch of uneducated, uninformed people who just sit there and go through a checklist of answers for you. They have no knowledge of the product that they're trying to help you with. <laughs> Yo, Phil is such an asshole. Oh my God. So yeah, let's jump into it, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that fun stuff. Let's get into it, guys. Shout out to Brian, who reminded me in the stream chat to turn on the ghost today so I wouldn't forget. Because there was no way I was remembering, as you know. My, my mind is like a, a sieve. You know. <laughs> At my age, I forget everything. Hi bro, Phil just admitted it right there. I've been saying this motherfucker has dementia, bro. In my last video I just did, I called the state hospital. <laughs> oh, God, I need to stop. Hold on, that was kind of stupid of me off. <laughs> Oh, and they told me, it need be, you need to be court-ordered to go to a state hospital with the crazy people. It feels a fucking crazy person. So, we're gonna log this down as evidence of his fucking insanity. <laughs> oh, sorry guys, I'm a little lit. Let's keep going. <laughs> we call Labor Day. What is Labor Day? It's a day when supposedly... We Americans sit back and reminisce and kind of respect the American workforce. The hard workers that they are, how they bust their butts for a wage. And uh, it's kind of funny because, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry, Phil sounded so condescending. Like, did you hear the tone of his voice? Uh, it's we, we celebrate the American worker and how they bust their butt for a wage. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry, you cracked me up. Like, yeah, Phil, I get it. You think you're better than us, okay. It was all about what we call the American dream. And what that means is people would literally say, oh, it's my dream that one day I could grow up and I could do whatever I want with my life. I could have a job however I want. I could be whoever I want and I can make a living doing it. I can have a family. I can have a house with a white picket fence and, you know, two kids, send them to school, have safety and all this. And that was the American dream to live in America and have that kind of a lifestyle where you could have a job that was a career that would support all of that. 
But sadly, for those of us who are realists and honestly cynics, what we've seen in the last 20 years is America changed dramatically from a place where you could have that kind of a career and a dream and an aspiration to a place where sky-high rent, sky-high cost of living, inflation out the ass, just to make ends meet, you have to hold down two or three jobs because most jobs won't even give you full-time hours so you can qualify for the health care plan that they're supposed to provide. Go oh God. Oh. Uh, honey, I need help. I think I'm about to have a fucking stroke. I hate when Phil talks like this. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Give me a second, guys. Oh, God. Phil's actually... Bro, if I die, let it be known Phil's one of the causes of my death. This fucker, he doesn't know shit about sky-high rent, working two, three jobs. Shut the fuck up, Phil. You sit here on your ass day after day, and you soak up m the money of people living this life. Bro, he's, so he's soaking up the streets money, bro. We need to take it back. I swear to God, we need... Ugh! Susan, Mama Susan, tear down the condo walls. I'm fucking sick of this guy. <laughs> Phil's gonna be the death of me, dude worker so you're going from place to place to place flipping burgers checking people out at a retail store you know what i mean working in a factory packing boxes and delivering them for amazon go dry door dashing around trying to de deliver food just to have enough money to pay your bills that's the modern american dream so it's kind of funny labor day that's supposed to be like a celebration of american laborers and how great it is to be in america and to have this this career how many people actually have a career is the question in my opinion and what's funny is we keep getting reports out of our mainstream media and again i want to emphasize something i'm not a political guy i'm not conservative i'm not uh you know progressive i'm not on either side of the left or right i try to stay out of the argument but what i do in the middle and i try to tell you guys what i see as a objective observer of the things around me all right Nah, shut the hell up, Phil. I hate when Phil... I'm... I am not want to talk about politics, but... And then he starts talking about fucking politics. Bro, he's about to go on a goddamn rant about politics. Son of a bitch! <laughs> ah, I'm trying to tell you, Phil has been fucking just going on these unhinged... Fucking nothing burger-ass rants. It is driving me slowly insane. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh shit, dude. I think what I find really insulting about Phil talking about Labor Day right now is it shows you he's aware what a lot of people have to go through to get a fucking check, but he sits here like an entitled little piece of shit baby kid, you know, with shit in his fucking diaper, crying for tips, you know? Everything's a or like he, he causes everything to happen to him and Everybody else is supposed to solve his problems Alongside just living day to day in fucking America You know it ain't sweet like America's one of the greatest damn it. It's fucking great in America, but Phil lives in a bubble He don't know it really ain't all sweet for us right now <laughs> We ought to break Low key. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, record job creation, record numbers of new jobs and opportunities for Americans out there. So get out there and work. And then you'll look, you're like, where are these job opportunities? And I can tell you firsthand from looking online from the postings and things, here's what they are retail clothing store, fast food restaurant, Amazon factory packer. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are not career jobs. <clears throat> These are literally what would be considered disposable jobs. And what that you are disposable. You'll get hired by these jobs to work 10, 15 hours a week if you're lucky. You'll work the job, barely learn anything, flub your way through it because there's no training. There's no actual management. It's just go out there and just do work with absolutely no, no knowledge of anything. Just do it. Okay? Hear this lying ass bastard acting like he's looking at job postings. The fuck, when's the last time you think Phil was looking at a job application? 
I don't think he's familiar with the fucking thing, dude, at all. He have a job application or strangers. We don't need you anymore. But goodbye. You're disposable. You're a disposable worker. This just happened recently with COVID. During COVID, in the last two years, Amazon dramatically increased its workforce. Why? Because the retail stores were either closed or no one was going to them because of COVID, so everyone was ordering online. People worked at Amazon for two years thinking, wow, this is awesome. This is going to be a career job now. I can do this for the rest of my life. They just laid off a ton of their workforce. They don't care. Oh, we don't need you anymore because COVID's over. Everyone's going back to stores. Fuck off. Oh, well. Two years of your life wasted. And that's what it's like here in, in the United States. I hate to say it. I've had that experience. I busted my ass for a giant corporation. I did work for two years outside of the scope of what I was getting paid for. I was called a customer service representative. I was doing the work of someone called a continuous improvement specialist who should be getting paid double what I was getting paid. I did that in the promise that I was going to get for my full-time job. When I was done with a project that lasted a year, they laid me off. That's America. And I hate to say that I'm being cynical about it because I definitely am, you know, but that's my experience and that's the experience I'm still seeing. I like how Phil says all this shit, bro, but he doesn't, like, show any fucking, like, data, you know, or an article, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure a lot of these people still have their jobs at Amazon. Amazon ain't fucking laid off their low its workers. If anything, they laid off a bunch of fucking motherfuckers that make more money than them. Phil, like, that's how you know Phil doesn't know how a company works. They're gonna lay off people they have to pay more than the people that actually got to ship the packages like what <laughs> i mean i'm pretty sure some people got laid off but that's the name of the game dude during covid like yeah i technically got laid off but i bro i saw i'm trying to tell you i'm like a sage i saw covid i heard about that shit i smelt covid and then i was like yo i told my donor in my restaurant i said hey dude I'm gonna fucking file for unemployment, and he said, chill, that's a good idea, I think. Like, he had a nervous look on his face, <laughs> and that's how I knew that shit was real. I was lucky, dude. I was lucky. Like, I was probably one of the first people in the whole goddamn state to file for unemployment, but a lot of people weren't lucky, and that's what fucking sucks. We need a better system that, like, the shit happens, you know, the shit falls down. People just aren't fucking shit out of luck. But Phil doesn't know. Phil doesn't know. During COVID, he was doing the same thing he's been doing. The only difference is that fucking Twitch gave him the yeet. Now we have to deal with him on YouTube. Reports things like, oh, record high jobs available. Like, yeah, what are the fucking jobs? These aren't jobs that you want or can keep. These are jobs that you work a few hours a week and you have to juggle five of them to make a living. None of them are living wage jobs. None of them provide health care. This is a joke. It's misrepresentation by our media to try to make us feel like our country is so great. All right. So from those of you who don't live in the United States and you hear all these great things about America, oh, the American dream is alive and well, you should come to America. It's the best place to be. Don't believe everything you hear. Saying that America is all bad because it's not. There's a lot of positive and great things about America. I'm able to do this for a living because I live here. Okay? And I realize that. There's not a lot of places on earth where I'd be able to sit around in an office broadcasting myself to the internet and make a living doing it. A lot of other places would force you to do other shit. All right? Me, I'm lucky enough to have a living that I can I can do this. Okay? More, a lot of the reasons because of where I live and the freedoms that I have that are protected. And I appreciate that. But at the very same time, I'm pretty sure you could stream in more places than America, Phil. <laughs> like Europe, uh, Asia, Russia, like all. If you have the internet and a webcam and a fucking computer, I'm pretty sure you're fucking streaming at some point. Like what? Phil's dumb. He has such a, a little bubble, mo like a bubble. He lives in a little tiny bubble. I'm trying to tell you, I would never want to travel outside of America with Phil. Like, he would get me jumped, robbed, and beat the fuck up. Like, for real. He'd be like, hey, yeah, um, I'm a big streamer. I know you guys don't know what that is. And we're sitting here in, like, the UK. Like, we would get into a pub crawl fight, dude. <laughs> oh, my God, Phil is a jackass. I don't appreciate misrepresentation, which is what we get from our media. So... 
When I hear, oh, it's Labor Day, everyone. Celebrate the American workforce. I say, yeah, celebrate how bad it's gotten. Celebrate how you're just a, a cog in a, in a machine that could easily be replaced by a shinier, cheaper cog. And no one gives two fucks about you because it's very hard to find a career job where you're valued these days. In most jobs now in America, you are a number on a spreadsheet. You're an asset to be treated, traded, and tossed whenever you're not needed. You know, they, you know they'll just dispose of you. I swear to God, Phil ruins everything he talks about. <laughs> like, bro, it's Labor Day, Phil. It's not that fucking deep. They just celebrated the American worker, bro. A lot of people just get today off. A lot of people, if you work Monday, you have today off. I had today off literally because I just have Mondays off. I fucking rolled the dice and won today. There's a lot of fucking cooks getting their fucking shit pushed in. <laughs> But, you know, fuck, man, I hate... Oh, God, this is killing me. Hearing Phil give this impassioned speech for workers like he's one of us. Phil, you're not one of us. You rob us, you dick. Like, I'm trying to tell you, if Phil owned a brick-and-mortar business, like, with four walls, a roof, a fucking shit foundation, with some windows and a door with an open sign that said... Phil shithouse, bro. You know what I'm saying? And he had employees. Bro, I'm telling you, dude, the first, as soon as his pig snout sniffed trouble in the air, he will fire your ass. He will fire everybody except for Cat and the cat named Jasper, dude. And if you disagree, I want you to understand something. You have the right to disagree, and you're lucky that you can you're absolutely lucky that either you or your family is in a life situation where you can disagree because not everyone is as lucky to be in a situation like you where you feel like, oh, I'm protected. I have a career that's nice and everything's good. That is a false sense of security Americans seem to have. They think that everything is foolproof and everything is protected. If anything, COVID showed us the opposite in the last two years that at any moment, Everything around us can fall apart and all those walls of safety that we build up around us down because everything changes. So don't believe the hype, all right? I'm not saying America's a bad place. I'm just saying we love to believe our own hype and then we don't look at the truth of the matter behind the hype. Phil needs to shut up, dude. He probably has the most privileged life out of any American, bro. Like that, you know, I could think up off the top of my head. He sits on his ass, does the most half-assed, low-effort stuff ever, and people just shower him with cash, you know? He's white as the clouds in the sky. No one's going to pull him over, <laughs> you know? Like, Phil, Phil could walk into a Walmart and not get the side eye by the people in the blue vests. You know what I'm saying? Phil has a very privileged goddamn life, and he doesn't know what it's like for the rest of us, bro. I'm talking the poor white people to the poor Mexican, like, all of us. Like, all of us that gotta wake up at 6, and we don't get home until 5. You know what I'm saying? 70% of our fucking time goes to someone else. Phil's, Phil just gets the fuck around all day, bro. He's a grown-ass fucking kid. <laughs> like... He's like a 15-year-old kid stuck in a goddamn 40-year-old's body, bro. He's insane. I'm telling you, he's been... I, I, bro, and he's talking all this po political shit, man. I'm telling you, people... Chill, he doesn't do drugs. I'm telling you, he, he just has the post nasal drip. Nah, bro. I'm telling you, the way Phil goes on these tears is like he just... Boom! Threw a bunch of coke in his goddamn face. And he's like, alright, it's time to stream, baby. Does a couple of sweaty men pulls. And then he starts to stream. Alright, we need to wrap this up. I'm a little lit. I need to go to bed. <clears throat> okay. I just wanted to get that out of, out of the way. Today being Labor Day. I just find it hilarious. Because here's, here's the funniest part about what I just explained. Labor Day. What is this really? We consider it a national holiday in the United States. Who gets it off? government workers, bank workers, and people who work office jobs. That's what I mean. This is like the lower class jobs are the ones we're getting more of, and those people don't get days off. They gotta work every fucking day. So there you go. Like I said, I work in the service industry, dude. I have the day off. 
That's because I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off from work. And then I'm right back at the motherfucking grind. But, yeah, I've been there, though. Yep, no choice. Gotta go in, work on Labor Day. You gotta get your goddamn money, Phil. Phil, What Phil doesn't realize, some of us don't have a goddamn choice. Some of us don't care because we need that money to fucking survive, Phil. We need those hours, Phil. You know, we don't just, like, turn on a camera and go, Uh, guys, I need money, guys. I need, I, hey, hello, I need money, snort. And then fucking some dumbass across the country just puts $100 in our buckets. We have to wake up early, shower, brush our teeth, make sure the kids are safe. You know, and fucking get busy, dude. Driving traffic, have anxiety attacks, yelling at fucking old ladies that want to drive fucking slow. You know what I'm saying? Having to fucking dip and duck fucking cops and shit. Trying to speed the work. Like, Phil doesn't know about this shit. Phil doesn't leave his house. I'm, oh, God. Oh, God. I'm about to pass out. It sucks ass. But it's the reality of America, and I, I feel for you, because I have been there. I've been exactly in your shoes if you're someone who's suffering today, okay? All right, we got that shit out of the way. Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about what we're doing for the rest of the week and heading into next week. <laughs> you see what I mean? He just, he's like, all right, I, I got my little spiel about low-wage workers out of the way. Back to Phil. Fucking fuck you, Phil. You don't, you are not, you have no relation to the common man. You're an alien from the planet Neptune, dude. Like, Phil is a, he was forged in the stars of, like, in the core of Pluto, dude. It's sent here to steal the resources of Earth and report back. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, we need to stop. I'm done with Phil. That, God, he's about to probably give me a goddamn stroke before my birthday. Man, Phil's ridiculous. I was gonna do a third video for you guys, but uh, honestly, it's getting late. It's like 9 p.m. You know, your boy a dad. I gotta fucking take my son to work. And that's like a 40-minute drive each way. So, your boy gotta probably wrap it up here. I hope you had some chuckles with me, though. <laughs> I'm telling you, Phil went on a psychopathic rant. He's, he's insane. I called the middle hospital on him, and I guess we need to, Phil needs to actually get in trouble in public or some shit. So, you know, that's the end of that for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good, fun stuff. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video, my friends. Peace. Everything was right, everything was right, I did nothing wrong.